Coming up in the news, five-year-old boy mauled in St. Anne dog attack. Man arrested after gun found in fast food box. Six-year-old found dead in pump house. Grieving mother suspect foul play after body of missing son turns up in sewage. And St. Anne man in custody over fatal stabbing. This is the Hummingbird News Channel, where we keep you up to date with news from across Jamaica. Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And now the details. Efforts are being made by the police to identify the owners of three dogs that mauled a five-year-old boy on Sunday. He has been identified as Mikhail Allen of a St. Dacre address in St. Anne. It is reported that the boy was sent to the shop by his grandmother at around 1.30 p.m. to purchase items. On his way back, Mikhail was attacked by a pack of dogs belonging to neighbors. The police reported that he was beaten on the head, legs, arms, and back. The five-year-old boy was later transported to hospital by ambulance where he was admitted in serious condition. According to members of the community, the owners of the mixed breed dogs have been told on multiple occasions that the dogs pose a threat to the community but took no measures to prevent attacks. A man has been arrested and charged in connection with the seizure of a handgun which was found hidden in a fast food box on Hummer Avenue in St. James on Saturday. 30-year-old Amar Morris of Rose Heights in the parish was charged with illegal possession of firearm and ammunition. The police said a team of officers was on mobile patrol along Hummer Avenue when they observed Morris along the roadway. Morris was reportedly acting in a manner that aroused the suspicion of the lawmen who accosted and searched him. The incident occurred at around 8.40 p.m. The police said a homemade handgun with one round of ammunition was found in a fast food box he was carrying. Morris was later arrested and charged. His court date is being finalized. Anika Davidson, mother of six-year-old O'Shane Jason Banton, now has more questions than answers surrounding the death of her son, whose body was discovered in sewage at a pump house in Lionel Town. A grief-stricken Davidson recalled her last moments with her child. She said she was hurrying to go and see about some business in Mipen, and when she went to the bathroom to take a shower, her son came in there, saying he too wanted to take a shower. After getting dressed, Davidson said she noted that O'Shane also got dressed and asked if he could accompany her to Maypen. A final request she did not grant, even as he enlisted the aid of his grandmother to plead his case to go with her. Recalling the life of her son, she said he was fun-loving and one that always made her smile. He was a joy to her father who always prayed for a grandson. He took him under his wings, taking him to his workshop, which was something O'Shane thoroughly enjoyed. As a student of Watson Town Primary School in Lionel Town, O'Shane harbored dreams of becoming a police or a soldier. He bragged about growing up to take care of his mother, his sister, and his grandparents. He had a dream to one day travel. Davidson recalls of her son. Davidson returned from Mapen on Friday at about four in the afternoon to discover that O'Shane was missing. When no one could account for his whereabout, a report was made to the police and a search launched. She was unprepared for Saturday's gruesome discovery of her son's lifeless body in the sewage. Although an investigation of the incident is still being carried out by the police, Davidson believes that her son's death is a case of foul play, citing that the pump house is kept locked with a key. She raged, as she said, the thought of her son being thrown into the sewage is more than she can bear. The Brownstown police in St. Anne are preparing to lay charges against a man over the fatal stabbing of another man on Saturday. The deceased is 39-year-old Gawain White. The police report that at about 9 p.m., White, a higgler of Stanfast, Brownstown in the parish, was walking along a roadway in his community when the accused attacked him and stabbed him several times. 
The police say White was rushed to hospital. However, he was pronounced dead. The accused was nabbed at the scene of the incident and remains in police custody. This is the Hummingbird News Channel, where we keep you up to date with news from across Jamaica. Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And don't forget to hit the bell so you can keep up to date with our new uploads. Until next time, be the change that you wish to see.